Bashery. It's a funny expression. Um, uh, it, it it was uh, best to you know first two sets were the ideal you know I, I could not play better I mean I was getting a lot of balls back I was ending the points when I needed to I was making a lot of winners serve was okay you know return was great <coughs> and I felt uh, I felt uh, fantastic on the court and there is not much I can say when you know the, everything seems fun and seems enjoying when you're enjoyable when you're playing such a good tennis. Do you start thinking about setting a record or winning love, love, and love? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was really trying to, to focus on each game, really not thinking about you know, the end of the match, but um, the crowd got involved in the, in the third set and it, it was great. I mean, I, we, we needed that. We needed that in the match. and. Uh, um, he started playing better, he started making some winners, some good shots, and, uh, and the crowd felt that, uh, uh, you know, that, that, that's, the po that's the point of the match where they should, you know, get energized and uh, get involved in the match, and uh, for us players it was, uh, was more interesting. Uh, on any level, do you have remorse or empathy or sympathy for an opponent? You know, when it's clear you're, you're well in charge, do you allow those feelings? Well, look, you know, we are we are professionals on the court, and we need to do our job, obviously, to win. And uh, regardless who is across the net, um, I know Carlos off the court is is a nice guy. Um, you know, today on the court, I I had answer for every shot. I mean, I played great. I uh, you know, I, I, I felt I felt a, a little bit for him. You know, in in a, in a certain stage of the match in the third set, where he was he was trying really hard to to you know to get back into the match. You know, and uh, you know you, I have to give him credit for fighting. You know, obviously, uh, I was trying to to play my best, and uh, and I did. And on the other hand, he uh, he has done his best, I think, at that certain point, and. And yeah, that, that was the whole whole thing. And do you feel at all like you, that the fans were getting short? The first match was so short; they pay <laughs> a lot of money to come to the night. <laughs> one of one of the guys actually on the way out, he told me, "Hey, listen, I paid hundred bucks. You know, you're staying for an hour and a f hour and a half on the court. That's a lot of money to pay for the ticket. You know, give me something, guys, so I get back home with a with a happy face. You know, give me a racket or something. <laughs> no, but uh, you know, I I. Uh, I played, I played good tennis, you know, obviously I wanted to win, but on the other hand, I tried, you know, we all tried to engage the crowd, and I think the crowd got engaged in the third set, and it was, it was nice. It was a lot of, a lot of entertainment, uh, you know, kind of uh, uh, long and, and, and attractive points, you know, the through the leg shot and things like that, and, you know, he, he tried to, to get the crowd on his side, and he did, and it was, it was really, really good, good third set. You talked about how well you played, particularly mm. in those first two mm -hmm. sets. Can you describe what it feels like to sort of reach a moment of almost feeling like you're playing perfectly? Um, well, I have been playing uh, playing this well for for a while this year. You know, I've been playing uh, some matches where I where I felt that I that I you know could not miss the ball and. Uh, I tell you, you know, as, as a tennis player or as any athlete, when you're playing perfectly, it's everything seems so good and every and you're so happy, you know, because that's exactly where you want your game to be, you know, at, 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 at the top, at the, at the uh, highest possible level. And um, you know, we're working hard each day, and uh, this is a tournament definitely where I want to perform my best. So um, I'm not underestimating any opponents. And I'm taking seriously every single match I play on, even though I'm expected to win most of the matches, especially in the opening rounds. Uh, but, you know, I, I, I try not to, to get relaxed. I try to get my job done as quickly as possible and, and uh, save the energy for our upcoming challenges. Could you look ahead to uh, mm -hmm. the third, your third round match? Yeah, it's uh, Davidenko, who uh, has been a while uh, on the ATP Tour. He's been, he's been a top two five player for couple of years and I think he's, he's, um, he's underrated, uh, one of those players that, is, that people are not talking about too much and, and I think he's, he, he, you know, he deserves to get a 
more credit than than he really does. And you know, he's he's really a good player. He won many titles in his career. He was in the last four of the major from a couple of times, and uh, he won against all the top players. So he, uh, you know, he he. Uh, he definitely cannot be underestimated, you know. And um, if he's on, if he's on the roll, if he feels the ball well, he can be very dangerous because he plays very fast. So, uh, but uh, you know, if, if I continue on playing this way, I'm confident that I have a good chance. You, Marty, Roger, uh, Songa all won today under two hours. Not real competitive. Mm -hmm. Does that surprise you in the second round of a major, or is that, is that just how much better you guys are than the rest? Well, look, you know, I, I cannot speak in their names because I don't know how they felt. But, you know, look, we, we all, top players are expected to win the opening rounds quite comfortably. And dropping a set, you know, uh, is not something that the people like to see, you know, uh, with us, with our matches. But uh, I think, uh, you know, I think all the, the top players present at this moment are, are in really good shape. You know, as, as you mentioned, Roger, Rafa. Marty is, is having a great summer, so it's going to be a really interesting tournament, I think, uh, as, as the, as the week, weeks go on. Do you prefer the short matches or, or the larger matches where you get to hit more balls and more competitive matches? I've, I've played really a lot of matches this year, so I don't think I lack any time on the court. Um, I, I, just, I just like the matches <laughs> you know, going this way. You said you... Uh, you know Carlos, mm -hmm. friendly with him. You call, said he's a nice guy. Yeah. If you were out there against somebody you didn't like, somebody you didn't think was a nice mm -hmm. guy, would you want him to make I would, sure? I would, play, I would play the same. I would play the <laughs> same. You know, it doesn't, doesn't really matter, you know, who is across the net. You know, you always want to win. <laughs>